Houses can be expensive. We all have a dream home in our minds we want to live in one day. So what does your dream home look like? Since it's a dream, it must be quite expensive. However, it still won't beat the most expensive home in the world. Today, we will be talking about the most expensive home in the world. We spend the majority of our time in our homes, so it's important we build them to the best of our ability. That is exactly what Mukesh Ambani did when he built his house, which turned out to be the most expensive house in the world. So what makes it so expensive? Well, stick around to the end as we answer that question. Without further ado, let's begin. Have you heard of Mukesh Ambani? Well, he is the richest person in India by a mile and amongst the richest people in the world. With a net worth of $97 billion, it would seem like a small chore for him to build a house worth $2 billion US dollars. And that is exactly what he did when he built Antilia, which is easily the largest private residence in the world. Let us shed some light on this skyscraper slash mansion to better understand the most expensive home in the world. It all started in the early 2000s when the planning for the house had begun. Ambani had hired two top-notch U.S. architecture firms, namely Hirsch Bedner Associates and Perkins and Will, for the design of the mansion. Nita Ambani, who is the wife of Mukesh Ambani, had a say in the designs and was really influential in the entire project. Well, after all the designs and plans were finalized, they had to be approved by the municipal corporation in the area. Upon getting approval in 2003, the planning for the construction began. After a lot of preparation and a string of delays, construction finally began in 2006. Obviously, a project of such magnitude needed a competent construction company. Hence, it comes as no surprise that companies changed mid-construction. The construction was started by Lighten Asia and ended with Bill Moria and Company Limited. Moreover, that is not the only thing that changed, as the initial building plan was altered a lot of times mid-construction, as they had to account for many unforeseen situations. In the end, it took around seven years for the building to be completed. And it shouldn't be surprising if you take one look at the massive complex looking skyscraper. It was completed in 2010, but the Ambani's did not shift inside due to religious reasons such as, quote, bad luck. Hence, after holding lots of spiritual ceremonies inside, they finally moved in a year later in 2011. For a building with a height of 568 feet, you would normally guess that it has around 60 or 70 floors. That is a normal amount for that height. However, Antelia was built differently. It had huge ceilings, which gives the building a mansion-like feeling. As a result, it was limited to only 27 floors, which, considering was just housing one family, is still way more than necessary. And speaking of its huge size, many people have suspected that it might be susceptible to natural hazards such as earthquakes or thunderstorms. But this is Mukesh Ambani's house we're talking about. He makes sure everything he builds and invests in is perfection. Hence, the house was designed in such a way that it can survive an 8 magnitude earthquake. Lastly, the exterior also has a space for three helipads. However, recent reports suggest that the Ambani's not allowed to land or take off a helicopter there due to the close vicinity of other buildings around Antelia. Still, the fact that there are three helipads is cool enough in and of itself. Now, let us talk about what everyone is waiting for. What does the interior of the house look like? Well, before we talk about that, let us talk about the design and the theme selection. The house has two main themes, the shapes of the sun and the lotus. These two are repeated continuously and are showcased via lots of objects such as marbles and crystals. That being said, no two floors of the luxury building use the same design. And thus, whenever you enter a new floor, you are surprised as it feels like you've entered an entirely different house. Now, let's take a look inside. What kind of rooms are in your house? Apart from the normal bedrooms, kitchen, living room, dining room, drawing room, you normally may have a gym or a sauna room at max. And that is if you are already very well off. Well, Antelia has some of the most 
insane rooms inside it. Besides the many large suites, which are used by guests during parties or when they stay over, it has a large temple, a private movie theater that can host around 50 people, and its own ice cream parlor. But we know what Mukesh Ambani is most fond of, cars. And that is why the first six floors of the house are dedicated to his vast array of vehicles. Imagine having six floors worth of some of the most expensive cars in the world. These six floors can accommodate up to 168 cars at one time. And if that isn't enough, it also has a car service station with a full service team who takes care of these cars. Isn't that incredible? This is only the start of the many things inside this mansion. The house has a huge swimming pool, a ballroom, a health center, and a gym. There are so many different kinds of rooms, but the most impressive has to be the snow room. In Mumbai, the temperature can get really hot, so to beat the heat inside the mansion, Ambani oversaw the production of a snow room, which makes artificial snow. Surely a fun place to go if you are bored and tired of the heat. We have discussed so many rooms and places inside the house, but we still have not given the interior architecture the credit that it deserves. The aforementioned rooms are not just like any other room. They are decorated and planned right down to the smallest detail, which is why whenever you step inside any room, it screams royalty. The decor, the choice of color, the choice of flowers, pictures, lighting, it's all properly planned, making sure everything goes with the things around it, giving every place the best possible aesthetic. I'm telling you, it's insanely beautiful inside. So how do these places operate? Well, apart from the family itself, the house has a large number of workers, around 600 to be exact, according to various reports. They handle the workload in the palace. That is why many people disregard Antilia as the biggest private residence for one family due to the presence of so many staff. However, with the number of floors and the uncountable number of rooms, you cannot function without that staff. These workers also had their own place to live inside, so you could imagine a large portion was also dedicated to them. Now, you must be wondering how they move about so many floors and rooms. Well, the house is equipped with nine super fast elevators that can shoot you to different floors. Just press a button and you will be quickly taken to wherever you want. Kind of reminds you of Willy Wonka and the elevator in his chocolate factory. After seeing all these features in this $2 billion house, it likely feels like another world. I think it's safe to say that if you enter this house, you will likely never feel the need to come out because it has everything you need inside anything you could imagine. And Bonnie has truly built a master mansion here. And while many people criticize him for showcasing his wealth, I tend to disagree. He has a vast amount of wealth and he distributes a lot of it to charities. But at the end of the day, he earned that wealth through his own work and has full authority to build himself his dream home. I hope this video answers your questions regarding the most expensive home in the world. And I think we've covered everything. But if you have any more questions in mind, do let us know in the comments down below. We value your feedback, so do not hesitate to do so. That's it for this video. I hope you liked and enjoyed. Please let me know by pressing that like button. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Till then, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video.